Hello everyone, welcome back to Chatomics. Today I'm going to share a special story with you. The journey that led me to where I am today. A computational biologist. It all started on a day I will never forget. Holding my passport in my hand, stood in line in the U.S. Customs and Immigration. It was my first day in the United States, August 8, 2008. The day the Beijing Olympic Games started. That's why I remember it so clearly. With $2,000, that's like my parents' uh, life savings, I embarked on a quest to become the first PhD in my family. My destination was Gansville, Florida, a town unfamiliar to me, but there I pursued my PhD in genetics and genomics, and a whole new chapter of my life unfolded. I was like a kid in a candy store with access to a top-notch wet lab and endless learning opportunities. About four years into my PhD, although I already had two first author publications, I faced a challenge. My lack of data analysis skills held me back. It was a rabbit hole of frustration. I realized I needed to learn computation and statistics to progress further. So I took matters into my own hands. I stockpiled uh, books and took online courses, hours of learning, Googling, and turned it into a passion. And I started a blog to share my journey with others. So little did I know that my blog under the pen name Crazy Hot Tommy would become a popular resource for bioinformatics beginners worldwide. So it was humbling to realize that my curiosity had touched so many lives. So my journey led me to MD Anderson Can Cancer Center, where I worked as a computational scientist exploring cancer genomics data. Uh, from there, I continued to uh, Harvard and the Dana Farber Cancer Institute, honing my skills in single cell genomics and immune oncology. Uh, but my role evolved. I needed to uh, lead a team to handle extensive research, so I embarked on a new quest for personal development workshops, mentorships, and enhancing my public speaking skills through international uh, Toastmasters. But that's a story for another day. So and he, here I am today, uh, a director leading computational biology cancer research at a biotech startup uh, in Boston area. So looking back, I see how curiosity, passion, and the thirsty and thirst for knowledge brought me here. So my dear viewers, I hope my story inspires you to follow your curiosity, embrace challenges, and never stop learning. So remember, the journey might be tough, but the rewards are beyond imagination. So until next time, stay curious and keep exploring the wonders of computational biology. And I'm here to help you. Thank you for watching.